Hey everybody, I'm Richard. And I'm Caitlin. And we are the Game Test Dummies. And welcome back to Frambo. Oh. I forget, like, I, I remember doing this stupid thing and reading this and... <clears throat> yeah, but I don't remember what to do next. Oh yeah, didn't I get a key for... I think so. I almost said Dusty's cage. <laughs> Mr. Midnight. Go on, Fran. Please, let me enter this cage. Find the key. I don't think that's the voice I usually give him. I think this is the key. It's so loud and echoey in here. Caitlin cleaned up uh, all the stuff that we've stored in here, and yeah. now it sounds really weird. Now it's all in the closet. So sorry if it's echoey. Maybe we should get more foamy. It worked! My dear kitty, it worked! Come out! Let me hug you! Ah. Mr. Midnight. You, you'd be like, Fran. Aww. Fran Bow. It's been Aww. a long time since I've licked your face. Licked those tears coming out of your eyes. Oh, this feels so good. I'm free. Fran, my good friend. Oh my dear, we have to get out of here. Yes, let's go. Do I just follow him? <clears throat> we need to go home, kitty. I hope the way back home isn't far away. I hope so too, Fran. We can't do this together. We, we can can't do this together. <laughs> I can help you. And why are you laying there, you lazy? Cats, I tell you. Aw, look at him there? walking. Yeah. I don't think they were. Can we? Oh, we could probably hop out the window now and leave. Because that toad said that he couldn't leave before. Let's talk to Mr. Toad, dude. I did it, said Toad. The girls are gone. That is perfect. Now I can leave this place and go to my family. I want to do that too, sir. I finally found my kitty. I'm not going to lay there. I just want to go home now and be there with Aunt Grace. But how will you get out of here? There is no boat. I thought you could help us get out of here. I would love to help you, but I'm too tiny. Even though my body is quite moldable, it would be impossible to carry you both to the other side. Let me think about it. Don't leave us yet, please. Um, do I have something that grows frogs? Eat this. Take this toad and may help. I'm not a bakery bun. But you are all slimy and soft like dough. You're right, it may work. Here it goes. Is that did that actually just work? What? Interesting. I literally clicked on the first thing that was available in my inventory. It worked. Oh, it worked. It really did. I'm so, I'm so big. big and I feel gorgeous. Great, let's go. Come, Mr. Midnight. Sure, Fran. I only have one complaint. That giant toad is staring at me. What are you talking about? He wants to help us, that's all. All right. If he tries anything, I will scratch him. That's okay, but try not to hurt him so much while we're sitting on him. The water is deep and we don't know what kind of creatures are in there. If we fall in the water, we could die, kitty. Oh, I promise I won't scratch the toad. Let's go. Hey, girl, before we go, I forgot to give you something. I saw you in this picture, so I thought it was yours. Why do you have a picture of my family? Did you kill them? And this book was with it, too. Leon. It was Leon. Oh, Toad, you found my family photo. Thank you very much. I thought I'd lost it forever. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But the book is not mine. Oh, well, take the book as a gift. It's always healthy to read. It has many pictures. Well, thank you. I like pictures. Well, let's go now. Yes, here we go. Hold on tight. Really much. Did you see my face when I saw it? I'm like... <laughs> no, I did not see your face. Oh, God. It's like leapfrog. Oh, God. We're going to die. Oh, God. We're going to die. <laughs> we failed. Yeah. Go. 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 Look how good I am. Go. Go. Oh, God. Something come. Yes. Go. Let's wait for the next thing. Um... There'll be another thing. Told you. You're all lucky. I know my frogger. It's like all clay. Yeah, it looks cool. I like the design in the water. He moves. Yep. That was a bad idea, wasn't it? Can I jump backwards? Nope. I should have waited. Oh well. At least we don't have to redo the whole thing. This music, though. 
That's a great dance, Caitlin. Thanks. Okay, so a leaf will come this time, or a lily pad. Lily? On the little lily pad? Oh, go. Maybe I could time this right. Hop, hop. Yeah. Hop, hop. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, hop. Hop, hop. Hop, hop to it. Pip, pip, Joe, yo. Yeah. I'm British, don't you know? Sounds like a great British accent. Don't you know? You don't tell me. Here we are. Jump off me now. Let's go, kitty. Yeah, cat. Let's go. This giant toad is going to eat your face. Well, now it's time for to go home. I hope your family... You find your family soon, said Toad. Thank you. You too. I hope you learn to read. Farewell. <laughs> Goodbye, sir. And thank you for the ride. Yeah, I should learn to read. Fran, what should we do now? Find the way back home, Kitty. Do you see the sky? It's dawn, and it's really... S and it's dawn, and really soon all the scary things will disappear. Ah, I'm so hungry and sleepy. I want to go home now. Me too, Kitty. We'll find the way. I'll do my best to help you, my dear. Let's go. That sounds more like him. I was talking kind of like the toad and kind of normal. Wow, what a tree. It has many roots that look like arms. I'm sorry, I take my pills here. Well. Well, I hope they have the their hair comb. Oh, it's these guys again. Sir, are you curious? Are you the curious insects that get stuck? I guess they don't want to talk to me. It's back here. Hello. That's <coughs> disturbing. Uh-huh. Oh dear, baby skeleton. I guess they didn't make it in time. Crystalline water. You are so pretty. It's pretty red. Yeah. What am I clicking on here? Beautiful flowers. Guess there's nothing to do with the pills. Let's go. Cat, I'm a kitty cat. Oh dear. Meow, 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 meow. This bridge looks pretty scary. Cat. Oh, Fran, come on. We have to go home. This, There's no time to be afraid now. Look at his tongue. Yes, but I'm a bit afraid of heights. Um, I can go first, all right? Then you follow me. All right, Kitty. You are so sweet. I'll be right behind you. Not. <laughs> yeah, what happened to being right behind him, Fran? Oh, I was supposed to click. Like, why are you just standing there? Now Kitty's going to be gone. He did. I say you, he did. Are you holding the clicker? No, I'm clicking. Oh god, it's Kitty. Why'd you stop? I'll just keep going then. You're the coward now. Fran, wait. Oh, Jibalushi. Oh, look at the cat. Oh my god. He just waved. Yeah, I'll see you guys. He hey. looks so scared. Hey guys. Oh god, I'm crying blood. Oh my dear, I can't hold it anymore. I don't want to die. You won't die, my friend. Come on, you can do it. Jump. All right, here I go. I got you. <laughs> yeah, you did a great job, Kat. Fran, no. Oh. <laughs> Suicidal cat on the way. I feel like Dusty would do that for me. Dusty's scared of going outside. Yeah. I don't think he'd jump off anything for anyone. Don't be afraid, Fran. We always fall. And after the pain, we will always rise. Whose hand is that? Oh, Jesus, Aunt Grace. <clears throat> oh, dear Aunt Grace, don't ever leave me. <clears throat> don't cry, my little girl. Your heart is pure, but your mind is tormented. You have to stay and walk your own path. Your own. Your own. Please, Aunt Grace. Why won't you just take me out of here, please? Oh my gee. I don't think you should be crying blood. No, people aren't as concerned as they should be about that. You'll just leave me all alone like my mother and father did. I'm sorry, my dear Fran. You will soon understand. I'm an independent woman, I don't need no man. Aunt Grace, no, don't go. Please, please, I'm crying blood. Oh jeez, <laughs> Dr. Dudushi came out of the friggin' blood. Fran, it is time for your new medicine. Take no, the red no, pill. No, 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 medicine. Or will you take no. the blue pill, Morpheus? Oh, wait, Morpheus holds the pills. Shut up. What? Caitlin, you don't get references to anything. <laughs> the Matrix. Oh. oh, God, I'm naked. Are you the cat now? No, I'm naked. Are you the cat now? Do I get a place, cat? Oh, what happened? Where am I? Fran, where are you? 
Oh, I gotta play his cat. Look at his little pointers, his paw. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, one of Fran's shoes. And you're just gonna rip her dress. Ah, his eyes. What an ugly tree. I scratch you, evil thing. Kitty, kitty, stop it. What are you talking about? Fran, my darling, is that you? Oh, it's Fran. It can't be. What is it, my dear? Of course it's me. What else would I be? Fran, you are a tree. Don't be silly. Help me get up. Uh. Wait just a second. Where are my hands? Why can't I move? I'm telling you, my dear, you have become a tree. What? But how? Oh, my dear, this is the end of the, this was the end of the line. The big monster did this. I know it, Kitty. He won't let us go home. I hope he won't come back. He was very scary. He always comes back. I think I remember him from that night. That night Mom and Dad died. Kitty, I don't want to talk about it. I just want to go home. But you are a tree, my friend, a tree. I can't carry you all the way back home. Besides, I'm not sure where we are, either. Am I going to die, Kitty? Tell me. Please don't say that, Fran. Don't leave me. But I feel so weak. Well, okay then, that's just great. Home call! Igni me hua! I guess that's Kayla now. Kolf kolke grandma! Pasku haula ni! You're doing both of them, eh? Ig. Oh. I'll be that carrot looking thing. Igni jokul vanti! You can be both, I do all the other voices, so I don't care. You just poked her in the eye. Ah, be careful, sir! Why are you attacking me? Could you please tell me where I am, sir? Howla call howla. Stop it. I'll scratch you. Howla run my igni. What are they saying? Oh my kitty, why is this happening to us? Howla. <laughs> Stop attacking me, please. I mean no harm. Howla igni vanti. Kitty, help me. Find my purse, please. Maybe I can do something about this. I'll see what I can do, Fran. Stop attacking my friend, Carrot. <laughs> I talk to this guy? He looks pretty hurting. An old vegetable sitting on a boat. Oh, there's her purse. Do I crank the cranks? I've seen similar mechanics. They circulate. Oh. I see my friend's purse. So I can't, clearly can't do it this way. Okay, let's see what's the other way. Can I not go the other way? Can I go up? What a strange shape. What is it? Friend shoe. Friend. Oh dear, I hope you found the purse already. I found the purse, but I can't reach it. Why not? Oh dear, do something. There's a bridge and lots of water, and the bridge won't work as needed. Oh, that's just perfect. Well, make it work. I can't really help you from here. There are some round things that keep rolling back. We'll do something so they won't roll back. Then. Oh, yeah. And Kitty, I love you. Thank you for helping me. You're the best. Yeah, but I don't have an inventory, so what do I shove into them? Is, was there rocks over there? Mm -hmm. Can I steal this board of this boat? Can I steal your big long leaf whisker? <laughs> oh, these things maybe. Oh, I'll take the stone that's shiny. <gasps> Look at him! Oh! It's so cute. Turn it and crank it. Shove the stone. It isn't. No, it wasn't, oh. Caitlin. Yeah, I got the purse. I got the purse only because I'm the best. Wow, Mr. Midnight just got really cocky all of a sudden. Well, we're at 14. Well, that's not 15. We still got another minute. This oh. isn't like any of the other games. You can stop whenever. Fran, my darling, I got the purse. That's amazing. You are the best, best Mr. Midnight. <laughs> now show me. Show the sir who is attacking me my family picture. Maybe he understands what a human is. Well, I really hope he does. He's just been standing there poking her this whole time. Use on him. Wanom ni hauka ah runma paske na otao. Huh? Where are you taking me, sir vegetable? Go, Mr. Midnight. Join them. They want to help you, Fran. I can feel it. Ook, run my paw. Don't be afraid, my friend. Kitty, stop them. Please don't leave me. I will be right here with you. 
Galop, ma, galop, ma. If you want to do voices, you gotta pay attention, Caitlin. I had to think about how to say it. With your mouth. Shh. Chapter three, vegetative state. Oh, good. Perfect timing. You're a perfect timing. Thanks. I can flare my nostrils. <laughs> That was pretty random. You gonna read your line, Kaylin? We need to stop. Well, we got we can't stop here. All we right. won't save. We gotta wait till the dialogue's it done. Men bow. I don't want to read that. It's a lot. Bezihar nihaulo. Oh no. You don't get any more voices in the game. That's you. Man. A rush bow. Iptem gorska. Imitem Gorska zihar o. Welcome, creature. My name is Zia. Do you speak human? Oh my goodness, yes. Finally, words I understand. <sighs> my good friend Ryan told me that you showed him an illustration with four humans and a cat. I assume you are one of them, the little girl. Please forgive my good friend if he scared you. We have never seen a human looking like a tree before. Yes, let me explain it to you. Ho ho ho, no need to speak, my child. The seed will show me everything. Iptem monarchisto ecto ecto bro ecto prote. What's this weird goop just sprayed on my face? Oh, and now I grow a seed. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid carrot. That'd be me. I like carrots. We got a telepathic tree guy here. So does Steve. Steve loves carrots. Hmm, let me see. You are good, no doubt about that. A truth seeker. A seeker of truth, I meant to say. Very <laughs> common of the Bow family tree. Ah, your name is Fran. You are the girl with the passion for life. I see great love towards this creature standing next to you. A cat, protector of gates. Interesting. He's gonna make Steve orange while the carrots are feeding. Can you see all that in the seed? Be quiet. I see something else. The seed doesn't hide anything. I see a world nobody should see. Nobody except for one. What do you mean by except for one? You mean the monster? You are supposed to be here, Fran. Not supposed to be here. You're not supposed to be here, Fran. This is the only thing I can that. tell you, my child. Whatever, Caitlin. That cl frog clearly was right that I can't read. I understand, but can you help me then? We can't let you leave now. It's too dangerous for us. You should never have been aware of our existence. There must be a way. Am I dead or something? Dead? What do you mean by that? You know, when you no longer exist. Besides, it's not normal to be a tree. I must be dead. Death is nothing more than the absence of love. Hmm. That's a weird way to look at it. Once you can't feel love, you die. Even if your body still walks. Then I'm not dead. You have to help me get back home. Little cat, come closer. Let me see you. What is your name? My name is Mr. Midnight. That is indeed a very pretty name. Do you think Fran should go back home? Yes, I do, sir. Show us the way back home. I implore you. Ah, I have a question. Are you the king? Ha ha ha, you're hilarious. Yes, I am the king. The king of Ethersta. I thirsty. Oh, what an honor, your highness. By the way, I like your leaves. They are pretty. Yeah. King, sir, please will you help me? Why is the need of you going home so great? The seed told me your story. You don't have much to go back to. There are many reasons, sir. But the most important is my aunt. She will protect me. I want to feel that somebody cares about me. I feel confused almost all the time. I want to be someplace where I feel at home, sir. I see. You are very brave. I just want to go home. Please help me. The, there are things that I cannot do, but I will help you. I will lead you to the door that will take you home, but it's your own task to walk through it. Really? Oh, thank you so much. And where is this door, sir? We'll talk about it later. First things first. You must be able to talk and walk in this land. Yes, sir, that would be very great. I'm afraid I won't be able to bring your human body back. Only the great wizard can do that. 
but we'll be more we'll talk more about him after the procedure. You must first understand our language. How will I ever understand your language? Eat this fruit. No thank you. Well Your ears and tongue will now be able to understand, but your not your eyes. That means you won't be able to read. Don't worry about that, I can always ask. Hey, that's you. Excuse me, do you understand what I say, human lady? Yes, I do. And you sound so kind. This is incredible. Do you understand my kitty? I didn't, your highness. I demand one fruit for myself. You don't need fruit, Mr. Midnight. Our land is based on fragrances and sounds. You'll see everything as your own world very soon, no doubt about that. You'll do fine, kitty. And sir, do you know why I became a tree? Yes. But I don't think I'm the right one to give you the answers. Now, it's time for the procedure. Are you afraid of heights? A little, yes. I get dizzy. Why? Take her upstairs immediately. The hell is that thing? Where are you taking me? What are you going to do to me? To get some arms and legs, everything will be fine. I'll be waiting for you, Fran. I love you. The thing's creepy as balls. I would not want to go with it. It's like a beetle no. with deer horns. Come on. This has been a very long cutscene, kind of. Well, it's kind of a cutscene, kind of a... It's very interactive. I've been talking a lot. What the hell was that? I think we're going to go over a time just because of them talking. Good day. My name is Palantras, and I'm your doctor today, at your humble service. Are you the emergency case? Wow. Amazing, what a human, what a huge, beautiful, fluffy thing. Excuse me? Oh, I'm sorry. I've just, it's just that I've never seen anything like you before. I'm still trying to understand that all of this is real. My name is Fran. I'm a human girl. The king sent me here to get some arms and legs so I can go home. Oh, a human. I think we can get you a pair of arms and legs. But we'll have to travel a little bit in order to fix that. Are you ready to enter the paws of the beast? What beast? Me. I am the beast. Let's go. Going on an adventure, flying through the sky. Me and Pelotris are going to the pink water. Here we are. <laughs> wow, this place is so beautiful and peaceful. I wish I could be here forever. I don't know why I thought I said before. Thank you. This is my home. This is where I was born. The spirit of the great Valco Valokas created it. It has the purest water in the whole universe. Oh well, that sounds amazing. So, when do I get my legs and arms back? Oh, right. We wait until the water purifies the curse. In the meantime, we can talk. I don't want to talk to you. I'm sorry, but we're out of time. Alright, hmm. So what is the Valokas? Haven't you heard about the five realities? He is the king of the first reality. A long time ago, he was at war with darkness, and one day he fell. He fell so badly, his heart was broken, and he was all alone. But he came to Etherstock, and his blood made those, this water pink. That is why it's so pure. It's a very long story. Well, that sounds grand. I mean, I did know about the other realities. And how is it that you are here? What brought you to Etherstock? My kitty and I were on our way back home. I was so happy to see him and hug him again, but then we fell. The big monster that follows me did this. He broke the bridge. He wants me dead. Who would like to see you dead? That sounds terrible. I prefer not to talk about this. But Sir Doctor, do you know why I became a tree? Yes. Sometimes our wishes are so strong that they become true. You did this in order to keep yourself alive. Think about it this way. Your human body was destroyed. But you wanted to keep being Fran. You wanted to keep your life. So you took on this empty shell to maintain your precious memories with you. It is actually the first time I've seen a human using a tree as a chrysalis. But it's dangerous to have you here. It makes our land vulnerable. I did this to myself? Wow, but Pelotris, sir. How? I didn't know I was doing anything. You really didn't know what you were doing? I see, well... When you travel to a third star, you open a door between our, your reality and ours. And with this door open, unexpected creatures can also enter our reality. And if they happen, if that happens, the balance will be tainted. 
And there is only one who would like to poison the second reality. The monster, the terrible black. Did you just cry? Mm -hmm. I don't know what that was. I can't see this happening again. I just can't. Don't be sad, Doctor. I'm very sorry for what I did. I didn't mean to. Oh, little girl, you are so nice. And you don't have to have anything to be sorry for. I think you are very special. But let's concentrate on your arms and legs, alright? Mm, yes, Doctor. Soldier of the sun, spirit of the water, give Fran her arms and legs. You could have made it rhyme, at least. Whoa. How do you feel, Fran from Athirsta? Well, I feel Thirsty. like a beautiful tree. I have leaves. I'm glad you like it. I told you we would fix it. This water is magical. It can fix anything. Anything? Do you think it can fix my mommy and daddy? What do you mean, fix them? What's wrong with them? Nothing, Doctor. Thank you very much for helping me. You are the best doctor I've ever had, and you are fluffy and beautiful. I had another doctor before. His name is Dr. Dern, but he was an evil old man. An old man? Hmm. I bet he wasn't that bad. Maybe he was just following the rules. Let's go now. I'll leave you at the station. Please tell me from the station I can walk myself so we can end this. What do we have for time? Holy crap. Should have stopped where I told you. I couldn't though, it wouldn't save yeah, there. Yeah, it would have. It was an interactive. But it saves. Not during the speeches. We would have to redo everything beforehand. Here we are again. Show Zara the king what a nice Ithirstian you've become. Thank you again, Doctor. You have to meet my kitty someday. That would be lovely. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Okay, that's that. <laughs> Holy crap. I'm so sorry for the super long episode. I did not know it was even that close. I thought we were just, like, hitting 20 minutes. No. Yeah. All right, well, we gotta go. <sighs> Thank you guys for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, press the like button, and we will see you next time. Bye. Can't cross the pole. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Ant. Oh, my God, he exploded. You screwed You screwed yeah. What the hell are you? Oh, my God, this guy is. Oh, God. Oh my god, get in the door. Okay, You're gonna die. I need